New City firefighters battled a massive fire overnight at this old North City Catholic Church. It had been converted into an indoor skate park. The St. Louis Fire Chief tells Fox News Patrick Clark the heat, dry conditions and flying embers caused the blaze to spread as crews worked to save nearby homes. A terrible sight overnight as a massive fire destroys the old St. Laborious Church. It had been renamed in recent years. Skate Laborious turned into an indoor skate park. I got a call letting me know that the church was on fire, that there was a fire that started in a small building next to it, the rectory, uh, and spread it to the church. Bishop Michael Robinson, CEO and founder of City Hope, next door to the church, says three people in his shelter got out safely. Two people in the church and one in the rectory also escaped uninjured from the quickly spreading fire. We had a tremendous amount of embers coming off this church when it got into the roof structure that were affecting two blocks a little bit to the north. I couldn't even get off of the highway and I saw the flames shooting uh, in the sky and smoke all over. It's horrible. The flames so intense that the embers spread to a building two blocks away. The old St. Laborious Church at Hogan and North Market in the St. Louis Place neighborhood. Crews got the call around 10.45 p.m. last night, with the fire quickly growing to four alarms. Crews were also dousing nearby buildings, including newer homes near the old church, to make sure the embers did not catch those structures on fire. Crews were able to prevent the fire from spreading to nearby buildings. Chief Jiggerson says the embers were such a problem that they caught a vacant home on fire two blocks away from the scene. Josh Hay, one of the owners of the building and involved with Skate Laborious for years, calls it a devastating loss. A cause for the fire is still under investigation. You can see the embers that were moving. Those embers start fires. That's nothing more than fireworks. Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.